In today's video, we'll be creating Snapchat UI screen where we have this authentication screen with login and sign up button on it. So we'll click the login button, we'll be directed to a login page where we'll have two fields for login, email and password. And these email and password also have validators in it. I didn't enter anything, I just press login so they will show me the warning as enter an email and password will be your 6 plus character so this is the login screen if i will click on forgot your password redirect me to a screen which is forgot your password screen and this also has the ios button that ios navigation button and other than that we have this sign up screen where we have username email password and the sign up and accept button this app ui will be divided into two or three smaller videos and i'll be creating a playlist for it Let's get started. This is the authentication screen for our app in which we have a login button, a sign up button and a logo. So we will be creating a new project for this Snapchat UI and then building the authentication screen. Uh, apart from this, we will also be using a separate class or widget. We will be naming that class as authentication button in which we will be calling that uh, dart file uh, two times in a row in which first one first parameter would in first parameter would be of login and second parameter would be of sign up so let's take a screenshot for this so that we can close the emulator right now so here we have the screenshot let's bring this down and here we have to place the screenshot side by side to our visual board okay so we have the screenshot here with us let's create a new project in flutter so what we can do is uh, cd documents just you can use the directory which you want so that will create a, a new directory as snapchat ui now i'll enter the snapchat ui and then let's uh, create a new flutter project in it snapchat ui okay so we have a snapchat ui thing ready we can just check its content okay so it's all set up now let's open this in our visual code let's close the terminal and place this coding area side by side to our screenshot so that we can get a hint of what we need to design so let's get to our library main.dart file here we need a two folders first one is screens where we have different screen like login screen, sign up screen, forward password screen and let's create a widget file where we have different widget like the one which I have set a separate file for these buttons so let's create a new file auth button dot dart and here in screen I will create a authentication screen dot dart uh, let's import material dot dart Okay, and let's create a state uh, full widget of authentication screen. Done. Now we have our authentication button. So let's leave this for now. Uh, what we need to do is just delete all this code because we don't need this. So we'll creating our own code. And here uh, I don't need the primary swatch. Okay, and after that I just need to change this. To change this to authentication screen done so let's run our application for the first time let's firstly uh, remove that debug option there okay so we have that removed here now what we need to do is first of all in that scaffold uh, first okay so we are shifting from authentication uh, main dot dart we are shifting from main dot dart to authenticate authenticator screen so let's get to here and we need to return a scaffold in which we have back in which we have a background color of color dot yellow and then what we need to do is create a column let's remove this because this is disturbing a lot 
and I have to close this now we have a more area for coding uh, now let's create a column in which in the column we uh, let's define some property for column fill in main axis or space between so that we distribute even space between everything I'll be placing this here okay and uh, that would be a space between after that what we need to do is we need to place children first is child size box with the height of around 100 let's say and uh, after that what we need is a container with alignment as alignment dot center and the child as image dot asset and we'll be creating a what we need to do is uh, we have to edit perfect ml file and we need to create a new folder in our directory for assets okay so i have this asset section here and also we need to change some of these file properties so we'll be creating assets and then writing it assets right so let's save this perfect yaml file and after that what we need to do is uh, what i will be doing is i will be getting my logo to drag to the asset folder so we have the logo for the application so what we need to do is uh, assets dot logo dot png we have our application little bit ready with a height of 160 i guess okay this height is okay to us now what we need to do is we uh, while we'll be creating new so let's create a space of height 10 now after that what we need to do is bring a container now there will be a container which will be having a child of column and in column we have two class two children first is login button and second is sign up button now so using that uh, sign up and login button first let's get to our auth button dot dart file and here we will import material dot dart and create a stateless widget a state less widget of art button let's make this uppercase okay in this will be uh, we need some property which will be parameter which this function needs so we will need a color of the button like this we have a red color then blue color then uh, we need a string that we need to display that would be a text and then i need a function for that which will be uh, using which will be used by gesture detector of diverting the user to that page okay we have that showing some error until we do this auth button and here in this we will be doing this dot color this dot text and this dot on press i'm closing it here so now what we need to do is return a gesture de detector because then we'll be clicking on this login button it will redirect us to a page gesture detector and that on tap will be called by on press this thing called here and now we need a child of container okay and the container will have a height of 120 and the color we will be getting that parameter from this variable this fine is this element color and after that we need the child with a center widget 
because these are center to the parent view child center okay and this we have our another child of text okay so we have the child of text in which the text would be called from that parameter and uh, let's define some style for text text style and uh, in text style we have color or colors dot white and font weight as font weight dot w700 so we are done with the widget screen widget button we can call this button to our authentication screen children now we'll be calling auth button it has three parameters text first of all it's color color dot red then it has a parameter of text text will be uh, login and then it let's also see it updating a real time okay so we have a login here and then on press would be redirected this to our login screen creating a stateful widget of login screen doing the same for this also import material and then doing the same for this also sign up screen I'll save this I'll save this login screen and then let's just again retype that so that it can import the login screen and it's just all, all done all done we just need to copy this odd button once again so that we have a sign up button with us we just need to give some different uh, value to that uh, like this sign up screen and the color will be a uh, blue color here we have that updated and uh, what we need next is this sign up I think there are some issues with the button right now which I'll be editing right don't worry for that so we have the main basic code ready everything is set up I guess so all good yes so we have that ready just have a look just let me have a look at the odd button so that I don't find anything fishy here okay so we haven't defined the size for font so let's get this okay so we have that it will go to when you click it will have this empty login screen and then sign up screen so that's all for this video the next video I'll be teaching you how to make uh, the login screen UI and then the side of screen UI so stick to another video and hope you have subscribed to our backslash Twitter channel if not yet then do subscribe to our channel because we will be posting these awesome videos for you thank you